Welcome back to the Elevate Everyday Podcast. I'm back again with Coach Herb, who you guys met last week. And in this one, we're talking about watching your language. And I don't mean like watching cussing because my man here like cusses like a sailor a little bit. <laughs> so Herb, like what what does this mean? Like what what does watching your language mean to you? I, basically, it's the language that you talk about and describe yourself. So in our in our game, obviously, a lot of people want to lose weight, look better, feel better about themselves, health reasons. So when you sit around looking in the mirror going, why am I so fat? Why am I so stupid? Why did I get that job? I just don't have the skill set. I should have went to school. Um, even though you know that's not true or you want to believe it, that's in your subconscious now. Your brain will find the answers you ask. Right. And you're not going to like them. So you have to be careful about the way you talk about yourself, right? I mean, if somebody said half the stuff you say about yourself to you, you'd lose your mind. Yeah. You know, you'd absolutely lose your mind. I've had a client before and I knew her real well from church and she finally came in and I'm like, Diane, describe yourself. And she goes, Herb, you know me, I'm a fat piece of shit. <laughs> and I just looked at her and my GM was walking by. I said, I said, Greg, come here a minute. I said, meet Diane. She's a fat piece of shit. And she just, her eyes bugged out. And I said, it sounds different coming towards you than from you. Right. She goes, that doesn't sound good at all. I'm like, no, what else goes inside your head that you're not saying? So it's not only just the language, just the thoughts. Yeah. Right. So people have to learn that energy is a powerful thing, negative or positive. And you have to focus that energy in a direction that's going to be positive to you. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. I've noticed in the past, like just kind of thinking back, like it's, I feel like it's a natural thing for us. Cause I, I used to just be like, if I couldn't get up on time, I'd be like, you're, you're a piece of shit, right? Like, how can you not get up? Like you're, you're lazy. What's wrong with you? All this stuff. And it's like, man, we're just, we're literally just beating ourselves up. So I, I totally get what you mean by that. And then another thing that resonated with me when we were talking about this is that there are certain words like hope and try. So like what, what are those words and why do we need to cut stuff like that out as well? Well, if, if I ask you to do something, Kate, I'm your coach and I want you to do this exercise. Mm -hmm. Well, Herb, I'll give it a shot. I'll try. That automatically gives you an out. Yeah. Herb, I tried, just didn't work. You know, and again, God bless my mom. She's passed, but she used to be my, I, I was the biggest fan of hers because she tried everything once. Everything. Herb, that doesn't work. I tried that once. And I'm like, okay, how many times? You know, and you ask people how many times they've tried. Oh, Herb, I've tried that a thousand times. Yeah. A thousand? Well, hundreds of times. You've tried that a hundred times. All right, I've tried twice. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, and then you've heard all the stories. Colonel Sanders talked to a thousand different restaurants before they bought his recipe. Stallone took over how many years to sell his uh, movies and stuff because he wanted to star in them. So he wasn't going to settle for anything less. Yeah. So when you say the word try, that gives you the, you might actually want to try, but it gives you an out. Yeah. You know, there's a, there's a, uh, an example I use when I'm training and teaching and work with people at a different level to try to get them to understand it's called burning the boats. So Alexander the great, I cannot remember what country he was invading, um, probably Persia or something like that, but they climbed over the hill and they looked and they saw they were outnumbered like 10 to one. And everybody's like, all right, let's get back on the boats. And they turned around and all the boats were on fire. Because Alexander lit the boats on fire and said, we don't have a choice now. We're going to win or we're going to die. And yeah. they end up winning. Nice. So you don't want to give yourself an out. Give yourself time, right? The proverbial, Herb, I want to lose 30 pounds in the next 20 days. It's like, no, we'll lose 30 pounds over the next 60 to 90 days. It'll be, it'll be a long-term thing. So you still have to give yourself time, but you can't. See, I said can't, right? So that's another word, right? You, if you say, I, I can't do that, you're right. If yeah. you say you can do it, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we all do it. And there's, again, it's the same thing with me cussing. There's no, there, there, there's no, uh, anything mean behind that. It's just a word. So right. when people say, Oh, Herb, I can't do that. I've tried that before. All right. It might not mean anything, but it's just all those buildups hundreds of times, thousands yeah. of times you saying you can't, Yeah, it's going to be hard when you finally sit there and go, damn it, I'm going to do it. It's like, okay, but it's going to, you have to reprogram your brain. Exactly. Yeah. So how, how are ways that you found, um, cause I'm now I'm super conscious of it. I'm like trying to work on these habits now, but, uh, what, what are some ways you found that have helped people break these habits? Um, again, you got to challenge people to have these conversations with themselves. Um, 
and just literally stop and make a mental note or literally make a physical note. We all got cell phones so you can, you know, put your little click on there. Every time you catch yourself saying something bad. Yeah. And you will find out it's not once or twice. It's uh, hundreds of times in a day. Yeah. Right. Hundreds of times in a day. Right. We have a tendency to beat ourselves up and want things that we don't have without working for them. That just cracks me up. And you've heard me say this before, right? The universe doesn't give you what you want. It gives you what you deserve. Yes. Right? So you want it, go deserve it. Do out there and do the work. Everybody on this team here is putting in the work, yeah. right? Cardio, steps, lifting weights, um, body weight exercises, getting out there walking, you know? I mean, and, and sticking with the food, right? You have to make specific choices and go in that direction. And a lot of that, even after you make the choice, you still have the language and you can't figure out what's wrong. And people will always sit there and go, let me go over your workout. Let me go over your nutrition. Well, everything looks good. I don't understand. And you're sleeping. Have a conversation with that person to find out they're depressed. They're anxious. They have sickness and stuff and the family's going on. They're having basic self, self-doubt and they're talking bad about themselves. So yep. a lot of people don't address that. They're just like, suck it up, get over it. Yeah. Um, I wish it was that easy. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, I think, there's so many mental things that are going on that are holding people back that they don't realize. And it's, yeah, you're right. Like most coaches will just overlook that. But mm -hmm. I feel like we're, when we're having these calls with our clients, it's like if we hear them say like, ah, you know, I'm trying, but just can't do it. It's like, we're, we're not just going to let that go. Right? It's just, we're not just going to no. be like, oh, okay, well, I guess you can't. <laughs> it's like, well, let's dive into that. No. Like, why do you think that? And, and like, we have to get to the root of that. So yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah I mean, everybody's had self doubt. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Elon Musk personally, but I'm sure there's days he stood in front of the mirror and went, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. Especially in his early career, but he just decided I'm just going to do it. Yeah. You know, it may take longer than you thought, but you're going to get it. You can't beat somebody unless they quit. Right. You can't lose unless you quit. Yeah. You know, if you're still swinging every day, I'm not there yet coach, but I'm swinging. You can't lose. You're going to win. Yeah. You know, but we all want that fast food mentality. I want it now. I want it now. Right. You know, so yeah. it's, it's, I see it in everyday walk of life. Uh, I catch myself doing it. We all do it. Um, but again, it comes down to our group calls and I'll liken this to what my uh, spiritual advisor told me the other day. He said, hurt, you go hang out with five losers. You're going to become the sixth loser. Because mm -hmm. you will you will raise to the level of the people you're with. And if that level is really low, that's all you got to do. You're good. You'll fit right in. Yeah. But when you go to people, like I told you when I moved to Hawaii, I looked for the biggest dog in the gym. I wanted somebody who could kick my ass and I probably would never catch, but I was going to keep chasing. Yeah. Right. And that's what you got to do in life is you got to find the right people to help you. And with this self-talk. Have a talk with a friend. Let, let, let them know. Make them aware of it. And then you guys can catch each other. Right? Mm -hmm. You'll even see it in texts. Right? And then you got it. Per, you, you, you got the proof. It's like right. you told me we're going to try. What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> right. It's, sure. it's kind of like when people say, I just want to be normal again. I'm like, what is normal? Because normal doesn't work out. Normal doesn't eat. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So again, yeah. terminology. You're not better than everybody else. You just care more about yourself than other people do about themselves. Yeah. Why, right? why, why do you think that is why we're able to give other people better advice or talk to other people better than we're able to talk and give our, give ourselves advice? Why do you think that is? Because it's a lot easier for me to work on your problems, Cade, and put mine in the background because I don't have to worry about my problems. I don't have any problems. I'm helping Cade. <laughs> right. Yeah. But then when I go home and I'm like, look in the mirror, like I said, at the end of the day, you're like, fuck, I didn't even do anything on my problems. Right. And people don't realize this. When you take care of yourself first, you're going to be so much better for your partners and your kids and your wives and at work because you took care of yourself. Yeah. Right. I had a conversation this morning, early conversation with one of the clients, and he, he, he was just sucking at his workouts. He was so pissed at the end of the day from his job, he couldn't do it. So we said, hey, let's go to the gym three days in the morning. And he's like, holy shit, that'll probably work. <laughs> right. So you might have to do things. But again, that's an, a, another corny saying. Right. If you want something you never had before, probably going to have to do something you never did before. Yeah. I mean, half our guys never prep their food. You know, a lot of people don't even know what food prep means. 
Does that mean ordering it ahead of time? <laughs> no, it's me. Your ass is on the grill for three hours, a couple of days a week, mm -hmm. right? Because you want more than everybody else. You're not going to try to do it. You're going to fucking do it. Yeah. And when you got guys like you and I on that end of the call, when we have client A and we say, how did your week go? Well, coach, I tried. Uh -uh. Let's go back. What did we talk about? What was your challenge? All right. So I would like to challenge everybody on this video to start being aware of your self-talk. You're not going to be able to change it overnight. I swear to God, this is an ongoing thing you're going to have to work on. Yeah. But be aware of it. It'll, it'll shock a lot of people. I've had literally had people go, Herb, I had no clue. Yeah. I, I got bad talking. Can you imagine talking like that in front of your kids? Telling the kids that you're a loser, you're fat, you just can't get, your, parent, your kids are going to be looking at you like, what? Yeah, nobody wants to think about their parents like that. So self-talk <laughs> destroys your ambitions and your goals for sure, but it affects everybody around you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a virus for sure. Yeah. Cause sure. I, I even noticed that like when we're, when we're on calls with clients and they've got this really negative self-talk, it like, it like affects me. I feel it. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I totally yeah. get what you mean by that. But yeah, yeah. guys, that, I feel like that's the first step, just being aware. And since I've just been thinking about this, you know, cause in the past I had really negative self-talk and I, I got past that, you know, probably a couple of years ago, but now I'm like taking it to the next level. And it's like, do I have any words in my vocabulary that limit me? And it's just cutting those out. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what we're challenging you guys to do. Just start being mindful of it. Start, you know, if you, if you journal, that's, that can be super powerful. Start journaling about that. You know, you also see how you're talking to yourself right in front of you when you write it down <clears throat> so that that's the most effective way that i've seen um to be able to to change these habits that you have and things like that so um highly recommend doing that but at the very least start being mindful of it and just start paying attention to your to your verb your verbiage with yourself and how you're speaking about yourself and and what words you're saying on what you're going to do like are, are you just hoping are you just trying or i am going to do this so are you speaking it into the universe so 100 percent I love it. All right, guys. Well, that that's pretty much it. You know, pretty short and sweet one here, but that's our challenge for you. Just go in to this next week and just really pay close attention to the words you're using when you speak about yourself and when you speak about the things that you're going to do. So that's our challenge for you. Guys, we'll see you in the next video again every week now. Me and Herb are hopping on these calls, jamming on a couple of topics uh, to help you guys out. So if you like this video, like the damn video and make sure to subscribe for more personal development content like this. And we'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime, elevate every damn day. Peace. Elevate. Only obligation is to tell it straight.